guys good morning good afternoon good whatever time it is wherever you are um, I'm back I'm back I'm back I'm back I'm back I'm back so welcome back to Unchurched with Kanye now I know it's been a while since I've put out a video and it's because I've been really 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 busy and busy with life in general and i've been also to be honest i've been busy with um, taking care of my mental health taking care of my spiritual health so a lot's been going on with me and i haven't had the time to do a video um also the guy that you see behind us this is our new apartment my girlfriend and i moved here i think we've been here for about three weeks now yeah three weeks and when we walked in we saw this painting and we were both just kind of like all right we're going to stay so it's very cool i'll show you the whole thing at the end of the video um another thing i want to say is that i had said that i was going to do my videos outside but it is so fucking windy it's been windy for days it's i guess that sydney winter it's really really windy so there'll be no outside videos for a little while until we get in the summer and things get hot and sweaty and happening and um yeah but i am going to show you where i live it's super pretty we got really really lucky we are on bondi beach and it's apparently one of the most famous surfing um spots in the world <laughs> i don't surf i don't nah i don't surf and also um everyone talks about how there are sharks in there but they still surf i don't i don't do it i'm not i'm i'm really not trying to die out here i am trying to make it back home to my grandmother so no surfing for me um what else did i want to share with you so one of the things that i have there's so much i want to share with you um, Australia has me on some kind of trip so I'm going to section shit out for you guys so today I want to talk about um, heterosexual privilege you know I talk about it a lot and I write about it it's a term that I heard when I was in university and it basically speaks to the things that straight people don't have to think about so straight people don't have to wonder who's watching before they kiss each other they don't have to feel afraid to express themselves wherever they are they there's not so much um fear around straightness you know because it's been normalized it's not that it's normal it's been normalized there's a difference anyway when i came to australia though and living in sydney it is such an LGBTQIA, whatever letter you want to add to that, friendly city. We've been able to just walk around these streets and hold hands and kiss and look at each other like we love each other. And I, I really felt like, oh, this is, this is what that feels like to be yourself in public whenever because the truth is that when you are um, gay or trans or outside the heterosexual norm, you there are spaces that you feel scared. And I have to give it up to Sydney specifically, I think Melbourne as well, because for the first time in my gay life, I feel so comfortable in my skin. Like today, for example, uh, I went, my girlfriend's a hairdresser and she didn't have time for her coffee and because I'm cute and because I'm sweet and considerate and I'm an amazing girlfriend, on my way to the city I bought her coffee and I dropped it off and she walks over to me and we kiss and she goes back to doing what she was doing and it was the most normal experience. And for a second I was like, oh, is anyone? And then I was like, everyone, everyone, of course everyone saw us, but there was never a second where I felt like, oh, people are uncomfortable to see two women kissing each other. So 
I'm really feeling in that sense being in Sydney has really showed me what it feels like to live in a city that embraces who I am, a city that welcomes who I am. Like there are rainbow flags everywhere, everywhere you go, you're gonna see a rainbow flag. And it's really, it's, it's been an incredible experience. Now, I'm not local enough yet to sort of understand the intensity of what goes on here for um, LGBTQ people who live here. So I don't wanna take away from that experience. What I'm saying is that for me, um, it's been incredibly, incredibly um, amazing to live here and, and, to, and to be expressive of who I am and to not feel, and to not feel afraid, you know? And I know that, you know, a lot of us can't even be who we are in our own homes. I was one of those people who had to hide and everything. So what I'm trying to share with you, world of Facebook, is that I finally live in a city that is okay with me um, being myself and I don't have to hide and it is such a healing experience. It is such a healing uh, environment to be in. And I know that Australia just recently legalized same-sex marriage a few years ago and in terms of the law, it's, it's behind, it's even behind us in South Africa, you know? But I will have to say though, that in terms of um, perception of the people, it was way ahead, which is something that we have in, in South Africa because there are places in South Africa where I know it's not okay for me to be this gay. Guys, I am so gay out here and I am loving it. And anyway, that's what I want to share with you today in this short video of me saying I'm back. I live in Sydney. I'm open. And now I finally get to understand these small little things that straight people get to have. And I live in a city where I get to have them in, as well. And I get to enjoy them. And yeah, but... There's so much more that I wanna share with you about living in Australia though, and living in Sydney, and truly living here, cause I'm here for a while. I don't know why I shrugged, I'm, I'm enjoying it, but there are moments where I'm just like, yeah, I'm, I'm in Australia. And so in the next video, I'll, I'll share with you some of the other things that happen here. But uh, remember to subscribe to my channel. I'm back, I promise, every week from now on, every Sunday, we're gonna be hanging out. I'm gonna be sharing with you my life as a black, traveling, amazing woman that I am. I know, so I'm learning before I go. I'm learning to speak positively about myself without being apologetic. And so when I call myself amazing, for a second I went, oh no, that's not cool. People will think you're bragging. But no, I'm amazing. I am an amazing human being. And I hope that you are all amazing human beings. I know that you are all amazing human beings. So remember to be kind to one another, subscribe to my channel, comment down below, and yeah, I'll see you next week. Mwah. Oh, now let me show you the this guy. I think maybe we needed a man in our lives. It's a really cool, look at that. How cool is that? So cool, right? All right, bye guys.